named the former national champion and national player of the year. What a run for Jay Williams. If you want to tell the fans more about my accolades, I'm not going to stop you, but I think the attention should be focused on the game this evening. Let's pay attention to the court. Jay, these 10 players on the court are ready to go, and so are we. The Storm able to control the opening tip, and we are underway. Wings have it. That pass taken away by Seattle. Nice pass to set things up. Here's Stewart, now for three. And she hits it for the first points of the game. Ooh, that confidence level is so superior. Whenever you start jogging back on defense before the ball even goes through the net, that speaks for itself. That's going to be out of bounds. Walsh it up off the assist. Bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. Here comes the screen. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Knocked loose. Storm have it. Shut that down. Shut that down. Knocked loose. And that's going to get out of bounds. It stays with Seattle. Wings have it. Layup try, no good, and no foul. And the rebound taken down by Lloyd. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Knocked loose. Storm have it. From in close. Cash is in for two. A lot of people don't know this, but Brianna Stewart actually scored the most points in the league last year at 742. Although Liz Cambage of Dallas actually had more points per game. Either way, Stewart is a big time scorer and she always delivers. Knocked loose. Top of the key. She'll fire a three. Buries it on the catch and shoot. That shot was nice, but that pass, that was the real highlight. Good teams always find a way to get the best shot available. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Pick up that sense of urgency. Here's a chance to break the top. Defense forces the turnover, and it leads to points. I've known Sue Bird since the high school days, and I cannot believe she still has it. Her accolades are ridiculous. She became the WNBA's all-time leader in games played last season. She also became the first woman in league history to play 500 games. That's pretty incredible that she's still this good. Diggin Smith for three. Creates the space to bury the three on the step back. Not everybody possesses this power, but wow, what court awareness. We get a whistle and a timeout as they'll take a moment to talk things over. Coach has seen enough. He wants some changes. New personnel onto the floor. I got it, I got it. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Right, right, right. 
Storm have it. Knocked loose. Sacrificing everything for the loose ball. Storm have it. Lost it up. Count the basket at the rim. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. They'll get it down to Johnson. Layup chance. Finishing inside the paint on that one. Uh, I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul, but take it when you can get it. Knock loose. And that's going to get out of bounds. It stays with Seattle. Time to shuffle things up. Wings have it. To the rim. Count it. And cutting heart in transition is one of the most underrated things about this game. The harder you can cut is the more it opens up the floor to make plays just like that. Walsh it up. Layup goes down. Well done. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy look. The drive right to the basket. Layup try and the rebound comes to Seattle. Knocked loose. From in close. Oh, great pass. Setting up the basket. As my mother would say to the defender, A for effort, F for results. Knocked loose. Oh, the hustle keeps the ball in play. Here comes the screen. Trying to cash in, and the rebound taken down by Lloyd. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Lost it up. Tough looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. The pass was really good, but what I love most about the play, Ed, was that every player that ran in transition had active hands, which means they were active targets. They provided a target for the player to deliver the pass. That's how you work together as teammates. Looks like both teams are making substitutions. Wings have it. Knock loose. Storm have it. Layup chance and scores. Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. That's me, that's me. Knock loose. Storm have it. Now wide open look at three. And it's Dallas there to get the rebound. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That pass taken away by Seattle. To the rim. Count the basket. Two more points in the paint. I'm telling you right now, with moves like that, scoring is not going to be an issue tonight. 
That pass taken away by Seattle. Walsh it up, and the basket good at the rim. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. Knock loose. Storm have it. Knock loose. Wings have it. Late heave to beat the buzzer. The first quarter's complete. The Storm are out in front. J one quarter down. Both sides getting a feel for where this game is going. Well, first off, I'm going to take my analytical hat off and then put my fan hat on. This has been a blase first quarter. Not good, not bad, right in between. Let's see how both teams come out and try to adjust themselves in the second half. That one's stolen by Dallas. Knocked loose. Storm have it. That's called game plan execution to perfection. Every possession on the road is critical. Storm have it. Layup try right through the heart of the defense. The layup is good. Not a Ferrari, definitely not a Lambo, but hey, gets you from point A to point B. From in close. Oh, the touch at the rim. Count it. Used to hear all these coaches talk about, we need players to run the floor. No, I don't need you to run the floor. I need you to run the floor with purpose. Those are two different things. When you run the floor in attack mode, that's when plays like this occur. Changes coming from both sides right now. Yeah, I got ball. I got ball. Knock loose. Storm have it. Lost it up. Count the bucket for two. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. Layup chance. Gets to the basket and scores. Plays like that remind you why Alicia Gray was the rookie of the year in the WNBA in 2017. That one's stolen by Dallas. Storm have it. To the rim. And the rebound taken by Cam Beige. Knocked loose. Storm have it. Wings have it. Walsh it up. Lays it up and in. This game is so mental. Trust me. Some nights you get poor effort defensively. You can't make any shots. Then you see the ball go in. Boom. Switch turned on. Wings have it. Knocked loose. Storm had it.
Layup try. The pass set it all up. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. Knock loose. Here comes the screen. Storm have it. Come on, where you at? Where you at? Wings have it. From in close to the rim, lays it up and in. We get a whistle and a timeout as they will get together and talk things over. New blood coming in for both sides. Wings have it. Knock loose. Storm have it. Has a look. Knocks it down from mid-range. If you're coaching against this player, you have to throw some fake traps, some fake schemes. How are you making this player think instead of just naturally reacting? Has a look. Yes, tough shot. It's got to go up to go in. Skylar Diggins-Smith, an all-star four of the last five years. We all saw what she did at Notre Dame, leading the Irish to three straight Final Fours. Lost it up, and count the basket inside. Oh, man, I'll tell you. Sue Bird has been at it a long time. She's an 11-time All-Star, the WNBA's all-time assist leader, and shows no signs of slowing down anytime soon as she finished second in assist to Courtney Vandersloot last year. Now preparing to shoot at the line. Great job, Ed, by the shooter to create contact after the jump. That's how you get to the free throw line. She connects on the first. Hits the first, and she hits the second. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Storm have it. Super for three. And that's rebounded by the wings. Here comes the screen. Knock loose. Storm have it. Layup chance. Easy path to the rim. I've known Sue Bird since the high school days, and I cannot believe she still has it. Her accolades are ridiculous. She became the WNBA's all-time leader in games played last season. She also became the first woman in league history to play 500 games. That's pretty incredible that she's still this good.
has a chance. Howard shot misses, and Smith has the rebound for Atlanta. Knocked loose. That one's going to be out of bounds. Both teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. Wings have it. Knocked loose, and that's going to get out of bounds. No turnover as possession stays where it was. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Storm have it. To the rim. Perfect feed to set up the basket. Sue Bird and Brianna Stewart may have played at UConn more than a decade apart from one another, but both of their basketball IQs are off the chart. They really know how to read one another on the court. Knocked loose. Storm have it. Walsh it up. A lot of contact, but the shot no good. Got a piece mm. of it. Jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. Knocked loose. Long key from three quarters court. That's it for the first half. The Storm with the lead. set to go here in the second half. The third quarter is underway. Knocked loose. Keeps the ball in bounds. That's what you want to see. Layup try. Count the basket inside. The duo of Skylar Diggins-Smith and Liz Cambage is maybe the best in the WNBA today. And we saw that in evidence right there. Knocked loose. Storm have it. Here's your chance to break this thing wide open. Now ready with a couple of free throws. I don't know about that one, Ed. I always thought your hand was part of the ball. Brianna Stewart. First one's up. Count it. He's made them both. Come on, I got ball. You don't this problem. From in close. And score. Strong take. No doubt about where that one was headed. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Lost it up. Converts in the paint. Nice finish at the rim. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Layup chance. Finishing inside the paint on that one. Oh, my goodness. Someone please patch me into the arena intercom. <laughs> Clean up on aisle three. Knocked 
Knocked loose. Wings have it. Oh, oh, she got there. I love when I see a defender stare down her opponent. Trying to cash in? That's what you've come to expect. Your best players making baskets. It's plain and it's simple. The difference between a winning team and a losing organization is the fact that their ability to finish plays. You have to find a way defensively to finish these type of plays to win this game. Time for some new personnel into the game. That pass taken away by Seattle. You know, Ed, sometimes you're just more ready to play than your opponent. The intensity and the effort is off the charts. Has a look. Runners good there. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. To the rim. A couple of cracks at the line now. Love the fact that the shooter created contact on the upward motion to shoot the basketball. Big time play. She is good on the first one. Goes two for two. Has a chance. It's good. You see, the great playmakers see the shot before it ever happens. They recognize how they were being guarded on the previous set, and then they make the necessary adjustments. Knocked loose, and that's going to get out of bounds. So possession will stay right where it is. They're going to make some changes with some new personnel on the floor. Storm have it. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Here comes the screen. Oh, beautiful feet, but she couldn't finish. Walsh it up, goes reverse to lay it in. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. Layup try, nice finish at the rim. Liz Cambage, the Aussie, the leading scorer in the WNBA last year at 23 points per night. That was an easy one. Wings have it. From in close. And the finish at the rim. And cutting hard in transition is one of the most underrated things about this game. The harder you can cut is the more it opens up the floor to make plays just like that. Lost it up. Oh, nice pass there. But she couldn't finish. Here's the step back. And that footwork was absolutely off the charts. Just that space, splash. That one's stolen by Dallas. That pass taken away by Seattle. Knocked 
Knocked loose. Wings have it. Layup chance. And a nice finish at the rim. Okay. You don't get a 10 for style points, but it worked. Now their head coach signals for a timeout. They'll regroup before the action continues. Both coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. Let's go. I got on lock, on lock. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Now, straight on look for three. And the rebound taken in by Langhorn. Knocked loose. To the rim. Off the assist. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Walsh it up and count the basket. You used to hear all these coaches talk about, we need players to run the floor. No, I don't need you to run the floor. I need you to run the floor with purpose. Those are two different things. When you run the floor in attack mode, that's when plays like this occur. Knocked loose. Storm have it. Wings have it. Knocked loose. From 18 feet at the buzzer. That ends the third quarter. The storm are out in front. It'll be Storm basketball here to start the fourth quarter. They have clearly been the better side so far. Jay, that's reflected on the scoreboard. Well, the cardinal rule in the game of sport is whenever you go into the fourth quarter, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. You have to play the game with the scoreboard saying 0-0. Zero, zero. And if you can win that game by double digits, then you've done your job in the fourth. Now ready for a couple of free throws. Ed, the reality is that good jump shooters know how to get those calls. Overall, though, there's less flopping in the game, which is great. But there's something uncanny about certain players' abilities to get those calls on a regular basis. And she connects on the first. She knocks down the second. Two for two at the line. Here comes the screen. Layup try. Oh, you could sense that coming. Mm, there is a premium market for players with that type of hand-eye coordination. From in close, in a flash, scores at the rim. Skylar Diggins-Smith, an all-star four of the last five years. We all saw what she did at Notre Dame, leading the Irish to three straight Final Fours. Wings have it. Walsh it up, cruises inside for two. As my mother would say to the defender, A for effort, F for results. Knocked loose, wings have it. Layup chance, it goes down. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. Knock loose. Wings have it. Knock 
Try to cash in. And the rebound pulled in by Seattle. That one stolen by Dallas. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in the playoff game, it will. Knocked loose. Storm have it. Has a chance. And the rebound pulled in by the Wings. To the rim. Oh, she drew the contact, but it's no good. Knocked loose. Wings have it. The shot here blocked. Just incredible timing on that swap. Has a look. Wide open look won't go. You see, Ed, this is where coaches get fired. It's great to have good offensive sets, but if you can't execute, then the play was a failure. Walsh it up. Shot's no good. Offensive rebound by the Storm. Layup try, gets it to go, and the foul. The defender was actually in a good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball, but sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there. Free throw up and good. Gives him a two-point lead. Storm have it. The jumper rejected. That kid can block out the sun, Ed. From in close. Nice pass to set things up. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. Able to convert inside. Another bucket there, but she's got a long way to go to equal the record she set in July of 2018. That day, she set the single game record with a 53-point afternoon against the Liberty and then added 35 more points two nights later. Knocked loose. Wings have it. They've got it back. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Lost it up. Layup's good. Those are the types of shots you always strive for. The pass was really good, but what I love most about the play, Ed, was that every player that ran in transition had active hands, which means they were active targets. They provided a target for the player to deliver the pass. That's how you work together as teammates. Layup chance. Yes. And the foul. And a chance at three coming up. So many times we get on the defender for quote unquote letting the offensive player score on an and one. Sometimes there's a lucky bounce, but more often than not, it's the offensive player who makes the play happen despite the defender's best intentions. Free throw's good. A three-point play. And with that, they go up by three. Knocked loose. Wings have it. And it'll get out of bounds, so it stays with Dallas. Knocked loose. To the rim. Got it. That might have been a little bit easier than expected there, considering the score. Walsh it up. And counted at the rim. Uh, I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul, but take it when you can get it.
Knocked loose. Wings have it. I tried to work the clock here, but you have to take care of the ball in this possession. Cash is in for two. Plays like that remind you why Alicia Gray was the rookie of the year in the WNBA in 2017. Wings have it. Layup try. Count the basket at the rim. You see, here's why versatility is so imperative for your offensive repertoire. If you're a one-trick pony as a defender, I know exactly how to defend you because you only do one thing. But if you have versatility, then the coach can put you in multiple looks within the offense, and then you can get it any way you want it. From in close, and the rebound pulled in by the Storm. Knocked loose. Wings have it. The Wings recover. Knocked loose. That's going to be out of bounds. Looks like some substitutions are coming on in. Lost it up. Count it. Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. Here's the whistle. Intentional foul. Some players are built to handle these moments. On one end, you just sparked your team. And at the same time, you also got under your opponent's skin. Just want to manage through the emotions here and not take it too far. Knocked loose. Layup chance, and the rebound taken by Cam Beige. And now the intentional foul. They'll stop it with 14 seconds left in the game. This is a close game, and possessions are at a premium. That's a good move to stop the clock. First one's up, counter. Good free throw shooting, knocks down a pair.